Hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, we're really excited. We kind of thought that we had two episodes left of Shit's Creek, but three. Well, yeah, we three checked. We have three, right? Which so. is a good thing because yeah. we're gonna miss the show. Yeah, and, and uh, I mean, let's face it, we don't want to do Games of Thrones and wrap it up too fast. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody you dies. Want, you, you, yeah, right. You, you want you want the reasonable pace of the characters to yeah. play out naturally, and I feel like rushing this would. It, it feels cheap when shows do that. Yeah, quick, let's get it over with. It you know. Awesome. Last last uh, I almost said last month. <laughs> last week we had a, a really full episode. Yeah, for sure. And it would feel weird if they just wrapped it up in an episode. Two, two right, episodes. two after that. Right. We, I, I think I you mean, need three episodes. Yeah, we we basically have Alexis deciding she needs to leave Shit's Creek, which you kind of saw coming, mm -hmm. and the bachelor party. We still have plenty yeah. to do before the show's actually over. Yeah. In a way that seems like it would make sense. And I don't know where they're gonna go because because I feel like the, the the motel situation is is really you know. <laughs> Front and center. Right. Alexis, I'm very curious to see what, what's up with her character. I, I, I want to see where these people go. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if Moira goes too. I kind of think she might. If Moira goes, Johnny goes. There's no way they're not going together. Yeah, they are booed up. They're like yeah, they're, they're married. Yeah, they're, so, they're, yeah, it's not like she's going to move to L.A. and he's going to stay in Shit's Creek in a hotel. <laughs> just Skyping each other. Right. Well, we talked about how David is not going to leave for sure. I, I feel like he's not. Um, we could be wrong about any of this, obviously. Maybe Patrick will come up with, like, my secret dream has always been to live in Calgary or whatever, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. It, that, 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 that's interesting if they actually all leave the town. Sure. I, it'd be sweet, I guess, because, you know, they'll be taking part of the town with them and the town helped them grow and, like, right. really develop them as people. That's the thing for me, right? Yeah. I think I think it's reasonable for them to leave because I feel like their stay in this town was kind of about them growing into better more complete healthy people sure that doesn't mean they have to stay there forever right yeah. we, you know we did this step and this step was great and our family got closer and we got stronger um and then we can move on to you know what we actually want to do and i think that's exactly what alexis is going to do alexis is going to leave Shit's creek a 20 times stronger person than she was when she got there yeah right crying for stavros to come save her that is not who alexis is anymore I did get a stavros shout out in the last episode yeah, right <laughs> yes we did um I think it's going to be a little more true to life. I think, honestly, they might all go their separate ways. Sure. Because that's just how it works. Should, right. You're, you don't you're, live with your parents. You know, yeah, exactly. 30, you know? <laughs> right. It's like, I spent I spent my entire adult life living in a hotel room it's, right next door to my parents. It's not the Beverly Hillbillies, although it's, it's kind of similar. <laughs> right. It's like yeah, the exactly. inverse of Beverly Hillbillies. Right. <laughs> but uh, um, we'll see what happens. Right. Um, we do want to go ahead and welcome What the Fork. Uh, I wonder if they're watching because of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the good place. <laughs> oh, this is my coffee. That got me. <laughs> and George, Ruby Schwartz, and Druber, Justin S, Rosie, J. Michael, Johannes Vogt, and GW. Welcome, guys. We're very happy you're here with us on Patreon. Thank you so much. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. If you might hit the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we have coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page on all of our shows, including Shit's Creek. Mm -hmm. We're at least four episodes ahead, which means by the time we've seen this on YouTube, we are done with Shit's Creek. Yeah, we're going to be sad. Uh... Yeah, we'll be going on to a couple of. We're basically we're going to be replace. We're going to finish up Shit's Creek with three films. Yeah, um, Christopher Guest movies uh, that feature Eugene uh, Levy and uh, Catherine O'Hara, mm -hmm. um, and then into Dairy Girls as well. And we'll probably go weekly movies after that. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I, I am as well. Let's let's get into some films we haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're Always also open watch, to suggestions, too. Of course. We're also uh, watching 30 Rock right now as a Patreon exclusive. If you do want to watch with us on Patreon, you're going to have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You'll only see and hear us for copyright purposes. 8.15. Roland still isn't here yet. You know, if we're a half hour late for this pitch meeting, we'll be laughed out of the room. That's too. I, I I'm almost say, like, leave Roland in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Johnny! Woo! Look at me! I'm you! <laughs> I can't believe your suit fits me! This time tomorrow, your store may be the official supplier of Rosebud Motels across the continent! I have nothing but confidence, Mr. Rose! Well, that'd be awesome. Yeah. If, if uh, Rose Apothecary becomes like the, the exclusive distributor, yeah, that'd be awesome. It w yes, it would. Oh, oh, no, they're going to New York. Wow. That looks great. We're actually leaving Shit's Creek for the first yeah. time in the entire show. We are. We're actually seeing yeah. uh, New York City. That's a great shot, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is. I doubt Stevie's ever been to New York. Or Roland, really. Yeah. We have an idea here that could be a nice little jewel in the Advantage yeah. Capital Association portfolio. Agree? Agree. 
That's what you got to take in. We have a good idea. Other than that, so what? Yeah. yeah. Mike has been singing your praises ever since you reached out to him. Still let him talk. He's devastated he couldn't be here for the meeting. What? Well, not a good sign. Um, no. We can always wait till he gets back. He's there for a week. Oh. Looks like you're packing. <laughs> you see a few cherished items being neatly folded into a piece of luggage, and you immediately leap to conclusions. The offices are in New York, so one can only presume. You're moving to New York? When were you going to tell me? I don't like how they're jumping the gun. I, Big tip yeah. here. Yeah. You're going to jinx it. Yeah. Alexis, let's not count our poultry before it's incubated. And depending <laughs> on what we acquire, we might not even have a guest room available. I... So they might all be moving to New York then. Yeah. Or she does, and they yeah. pay. Like, it's, it's... Right. Yeah. Um, apparently when Dad signs the deal, we are moving Oh my to god. What? I'm looking for a two-bedroom. You're welcome. Okay, what if my husband and I don't want to share an apartment with you? I'm going to have to talk to Patrick about this and what, we move our business? They are all jumping the gun. Yeah, they're spiraling. That's crazy. <laughs> Why don't I just talk to Patrick and then we shall regroup at some point? Because there's a lot of what-ifs to go through. Hope the jet was Johnny Rose approved. <gasps> Although I guess at this point, coach would be Johnny Rose approved. <laughs> Uh, we read the information packet you sent through, buying up local motels, dusting them off, and selling it as a boutique experience, right? Why don't we take five, huh? Okay. Don't worry, we'll get this cleaned up. Uh, Good. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Ross. No, no need to apologize. Man. They love the torturous. You sit, roll it down. <laughs> yeah. Get him a crayon. I don't know why they took him. Get him a coloring book. He, he's not good in social situations at all anyway. Yes, it's true. Our husbands, at my husband's direction, are Doesn't currently say goodbye, in Gracie New on the York City. The no, store. it says Stella. by Gracie. Hence our impending Oh, no, you just cut somebody's cake. Red delicious. Excuse me? Grace is moving to Elm Valley. That's why the cake says goodbye, Grace. Yeah. Are you sure it isn't a bit premature to be talking about all of this? Thank you. No, don't worry, Jocelyn. I'd be so oh, upset with her. No, listen to me, Jocelyn. The deal has to happen. This is not Moyers' best moment, is it? Is <laughs> so mad. No yeah. alternative. <laughs> oh, that was painful. Yeah, this is a painful. This is a cringy episode, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> As we all know, they are currently in New York securing the deal. They secured the deal. Anyway, when yeah. the deal yeah. goes through. I feel Apparently, like it's not going to, you know? Their plan is to move to New York. We would be moving with them. What? No. Yeah, Alexis has already shortlisted apartments for us. I mean, David, our, our business is here. Okay, what, you, you don't want to go? Honestly, I don't know. I this is a bigger conversation. It's just, ugh. Oh. <laughs> This is, this is not the best moment for David or Moira, or is anybody. it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but we're back up and running. Oh, great. Now, I do not like these guys at all. I'd be like, you shut your mouth right now. <laughs> right. Listen to my plan. I always saw but motels as a last resort, a dreaded pit stop. But I was wrong. And if this is what we can do with one motel, just imagine what we can do with 10,000. And I, like I wouldn't the sincerity or stay there for anything. That's that how such a strongly good I believe in this idea. Well, the, the, the assistant is in. <laughs> She's in. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Did you see their faces? He goes with him. Store and now a motel chain. What, he wants to reinvent the pager next? <laughs> uh, oh, God, these guys suck. Do yeah, you people I, know I, what it took for Johnny Rose to come back and do this after being away for all that time? The man's a legend. Wow. I was actually oddly professional then. Uh, yeah, I just felt like the sentiment was good. Yeah. yeah good for good it for was. Roland. He's worked so hard while the rest of us have just been flailing about. I don't think that's accurate. Absolutely not the case. Oh, John, we're here for you. I'm starting to feel like there's absolutely been... is there a happy ending for the show? I <laughs> so right. Can't wait to pop some champagne on that plane. We can finally start enjoying ourselves. Um, Johnny, let's not jump the gun just yet. Between us, they won't be moving forward with the idea. Yeah. How can they even decide that fast? It's okay, Stevie. They've turned down a thousand good ideas. I really shouldn't be saying this on company soil, but two of the junior partners and I are in the process of starting our own firm. And this is exactly the kind of project oh, wow. we're hoping to get behind. Maybe nice. I should wait to hear from Mike first. Believe me, those people up there, they don't deserve to be in business with you. This 
We would love to take you for lunch and hear more about your proposal. In a month. <laughs> Them. Though your father's insistence on telling us in person could so go either way. John, no! <laughs> <laughs> Patrick oh, is Patrick, not okay. Oh. Yeah. There's an it that that has to be right. resolved. I'm glad time. we got two more episodes because yeah. there's a right. lot to get through still. Okay. Oh man. All right. This is the best season so far. Just because, like, it, outside of them leaving Shit's Creek sure. for the first time, I feel like this is the first time. It, it's not just one episode and then the next episode something random. Each episode seems to be feeding into the next. Right. Sure. And I really like that. I, I, I like that as they're wrapping up the final season. It's it's like a continued continued narrative. It obviously always has been, mm -hmm. but I feel like in previous seasons it's been more situational sure you know uh, which has been great i'm not saying that's bad at all i'm just saying to really it, it's really ramping up the stakes this season and the, st the stakes are I, I feel like it's always been serialized i mean yeah alexis and ted and i mean i feel like people oh, like, sure, sure, I, sure i feel like it's always been kind of a continuing story but you're right there are some episodes that are more contained than others for sure like this one I mean, right you wouldn't necessarily call that a cliffhanger well, it definitely says there's a lot to be resolved still yeah, for sure you know, uh, david and patrick are going to get married and have to figure out what they're doing after that um i take it that this does in fact mean that the other three are intending on moving to new york then I and probably so. stevie i would assume so right i, I think david i think he loves patrick i don't think he'll leave I think he wants. Yeah, to I, yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't think they're calling the wedding off at all. I think it's going to be a wedding. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think they get they, they split up over this. It, I'm just trying to think just... of compromises. I don't think. I don't know. I think that David will be the one that compromises. I do too. I, I, I do too. It's just they they really have kind of like rooted themselves in the town. Sure. Um, and and like it's it's different with like Alexis and Ted because their careers would have taken them to different places. There's no reason to move to New York other than you want to live in New York, yeah. right? It's not like they can't work. In Shit's Creek versus can't work, you know, one of them's job is one place, one's job's the other, career, life, whatever. Yeah. It's just a place to live that they're really debating sure. about. And so we forget that if this happens, they're gonna be quite wealthy. They'll have money to sure. see each other once a month, twice a month, you know what I mean? Like you, you, sure. You can travel as much as you want. Right. Uh, especially if, if Rose Apoth Apothecary is gonna be the exclusive um distributor for this this chain of mode shills. You can. You don't have to be at work every day. You're no. the boss. You can hire people. You can do what you want. They can travel. Sure. Beyond you, you know. Right. And they can do. Yeah. It's. It's not the same. It won't be the same, right? The, yeah. the, this. Oh my God, we're stuck in this town. Isn't the reality anymore? Regardless. No. They just. That's just where they sleep. <laughs> exactly. Know? Yeah. You can leave the motel. You can buy a house there. You can right. buy a house wherever you want. And. Mm -hmm. I get it scary. Look, I'm. I'm in the process. I'll be, I'll be moving shortly here too. Not out of where we live, but like right. in a different house. And so. I get it. There's a lot of memories there. Sure. You get comfortable in one place for a while. Right. And it, it's change is good sometimes, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I can't imagine that living in the hotel forever seems appealing either. Right. <laughs> There's, I think you're right. I think Patrick and David get a house in the area. Something. And yeah. that is, that's some middle ground for yeah. here's a situation here. There's New York there. There's something else we can do. Yeah. And, you know, I, I get Patrick's, Patrick's not from Schitt's Creek, but. He does like the small town vibe yeah, absolutely, of it. You know, right. I, I'm from a small town. I understand that. Some people do get dug in and they, they live there forever. I think part of that's in me, so I can definitely relate to that. But at the same time, you know, I, I was a person in my 20s. I lived all over. Right. I like that. Sure. I, I think experience is good. And um, David certainly has lived all over. Patrick seems to have lived the life as well. well I, it makes me think about the end of season one where, you know, David has meltdown when they didn't sell the town mm -hmm. and, and move out. And we had the revelation. I, I don't remember exactly when it came at the end of season one, beginning of season two, when they got David kind of back into the fold. Yeah. Where he didn't really have friends when he lived in New York. No. He he had hangers no. on. Yeah. He couldn't find someone to live with them because they weren't really friends. It's not genuine. The, the yeah, the yeah. the life that he's missing was. I thought he'd established and 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 realized that it wasn't. Uh, uh, he wasn't really happy. It's excess with that. It's, yeah. It's materialist. Yeah. He, but it's he, not but real. He, yeah. He, he, he's a lot happier having patrick and stevie in his life and his sister is you know yeah. mom and dad than he was when he was just out being a socialite in new york city mm -hmm. you know kind of spending his dad's money on art galleries that didn't really work and yeah. stuff like that i i i think david realizes he's going to stay not because you know oh gosh i have to give it up for patrick other mm -hmm. than it's wait my my actual better life is here yeah right i don't feel like him reverting 
is is this would be positive for him into that yeah. and i it, but but it's different with alexis because i feel like alexis is such a different person now that if she moved to new york it would be for a for different her career, purpose. different purpose, right? It would be to to keep working in something that she's discovered she's really good at and worked really hard at. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's you know her focusing on on a career is way different than yeah. I'm going to run around the, the world with you know Stavros and and yeah. Sheiks that kidnap me on boats and I can't remember all the all the cool <laughs> stories she had. Yeah. It, when we watched this show, um, when we were watching Succession at the same time, huh? it was really in- interesting juxtaposition between the two, right? Mm-hmm. Because in many ways, they were the succession family. Sure. <laughs> they, Before, right. It's like if the Roy's went to some small town. <laughs> right. And um, I kind of miss having the the, con- the contrast there. But I, I do feel like they are completely different people. Moira, maybe not. Johnny is still Johnny. Um, I mean, obviously, they're much more likable than sure. the Roy's are. But I, I feel oh, like... Yeah, who isn't? <laughs> right? Yeah. But, but I feel like now, like you said, they have... This sense of purpose, different. They have different, real right. connections with real people. They right. are real people. They're they're, not... they're they are much stronger people now than they were. So whatever they do now, I, I think it's going to be different, differently motivated. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I just I just don't see David and Patrick moving to New York. Yeah, and David and Patrick being as happy there as they are in Shit's Creek, exactly. With or without their family, with David's family there, I don't see how they're the same guys if they move to New York City. I, I really don't. A couple of years from now. Sort of takes off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, and that's not a forever thing. I just feel like they've, they more than anyone else have really kind of found peace and contentment and happiness in the town. Yeah, look what you did. Look what you built. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to walk away from that. Whereas, whereas Alexis has just built herself into a better person, exactly. and she, she's, she's a publicist. and she can, and she can handle mm-hmm. moving to New York and 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 being her own person. Remember, her girlfriends came to town about one episode and said, they were "Follow awesome. us," and they were like, "I'm good." You know, she yeah. and, and she was happy when they left. Yeah. You know, it, it, the re- the revelation of my life I used to live it wasn't a real life. Um, it, it was definitely something that wasn't lost on her. Did Moira gross you out a little bit this episode? Moira grossed me out a little bit. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, was, I was kind of disappointed. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> it's it's the fun of Moira. It, it is. It that, is like she will always kind of be a narcissist. That's who she is. She is a diva. Right. Yeah. That's not going to go away. And the thing with the cake, when she walked in the room, of course, everything was about her, yeah, you know, and, and, and <laughs> obviously she's not as bad as she was at the beginning. No, she's, no, no. she's done selfless, sweet, wonderful things for David, for Stevie, for for Jocelyn. She's not a bad person. The cabaret season was a huge highlight. Of yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. But she's she's still Moira. She's still she's still the diva. She still wants to be the center of attention. Mm-hmm. So, of course, when she saw a farewell sign and a cake, it was all about her. Yeah. Right. Um but but her desperation, you know, to, like I really thought she was jinxing it completely. Me too. Well, like, great, I'm packing because we're leaving this awful town. I'm like, I the, the one thing I wanted for Moira is to still, you know, leave the town and, and you know, f- if she wanted to and chase her dreams or whatever. Yeah. But not to hate it the way she's still acting like she does. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's the one character of the of the four that doesn't feel like, you know, yeah. living that doesn't seem to show that living there has been a good thing. You know, yeah, exactly. Does that does that make sense? It, it makes I, sense. I, I love Moira. I think she's a great character. She's obviously she she might be the funniest of the four characters on the show, really. I'd say. Yeah. Um, and obviously, Catherine Hara crushes it, but she's the one of the four that's really kind of been hesitant to embrace the fact that this has been a good experience. Do you think that they will address that in any way at all? Yes, I. I well, as I was saying that, it's like I bet they leave, yeah, and I bet that's when she realizes. I'm actually going to miss this. She's this this was actually important. Yeah. And, and and I think leaving David is probably going to be the, one of the things that drives that home. She's yeah. loved living around her son, and he's the one that's going to be staying. He's right? the one that's kind of the most like her. I mean, oh, in a way. Absolutely. Wait, well, no, more so than Alexis. Yeah. They go back and forth, right? right? Like sometimes I'm like, oh, David's like Johnny in this situation, or mm-hmm. Alexis is being so Moira right now, you know? And that's probably the point of the show. It's really well written. Yeah. Um, but this episode, J- David and Moira were kind of simpatico. Yeah. On the, oh, yeah. On the let's, let's, let's get out of town. I don't care if anybody else feels like feels about it kind of thing. Two they, of they, fun, yeah. they, they're both of the like, whoa, 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 guys, come on. You're better than this. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this, this episode really highlighted the, the fact that, that David and, and uh, Moira are still kind of the same person a little bit in, in, in some ways, some fundamental ways. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.